Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn Java interview questions related to inheritance. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is an important pillar of object-oriented programming. So it is one of the properties of object-oriented programming. It is a mechanism in Java by which one class is allowed to inherit the features that is field and methods of another class. So consider a situation where you have one class and you need to declare another class and use the properties of old class into a new class. So you can make use of inheritance in that situation. So we will see all the details of inheritance in the demo. Let's first understand the theory. So some of the terms that you need to understand in the concept of inheritance. First one is a child class. So child class is also known as subclass. Subclass is a class which inherits the other class means it will extend the properties of other class. It is also called as a derived class, extended class or child class. Next term is parent class. It is also known as super class. So super class is the class from where a subclass inherits the feature. So child class will inherit the features from parent class. In other terms, we can say subclass will inherit the features from super class. And the third term is reusability. So why we need inheritance? So inheritance is a mechanism which allows you to reuse the field and methods of the existing class when you create a new class. When you are creating a child class, you can extend or reuse the properties of parent class. So you can use the same fields and methods already defined in your previous class, which is also known as parent class or super class. So what is the syntax of inheritance? So see, in this way you can declare the inheritance like this is your class. This is the subclass name and you need to make use of keyword extends. So when you use the extends, then it will say that this particular class is a subclass and after extends, whichever class you provide, it will act as a parent class and inside this class, you can provide your implementation. So in this way, you can make use of inheritance. So let's see in the demo how to apply all these properties in a practical demo, like making a child class parent class in our code. So this is my Eclipse editor here. So here I have a class called demo and inside this class I have a main method. So what we will do, we will create one child class and parent class in the same demo.java file. So let's first create a parent class. So here you need to say class, then the name of class. Let's say we have a vehicle as a class, right? Vehicle. So this is my class vehicle. Now what I will do, I will create another class which will be a child class or subclass of this parent class. So if you have a vehicle class, so which class can extend this vehicle class? Let's say you declare one class. Let's say the name of class is two wheeler. Okay, two wheeler. So this is my class. So this class will extend the properties of this vehicle class. So I need to make use of keyword extends and then need to mention the parent class name which is vehicle. So here I will copy this name, paste it here vehicle and in this way this will act my child class and this is my parent class now. Now I haven't declared any properties inside the parent class so no property is being reused here right because this is an empty class here. So let's define one method inside this vehicle class. So let's say we have a method called void Let's provide name as public access specifier public public void and let's say show. So this is my method here and this will simply print one sysout statement sysout. Let's print message inside vehicle class inside vehicle class and inside this two wheeler class I will declare one another method. Let's declare here public void and let's say wheel numbers. Okay. This is my method name here wheel number. And inside this method, we will declare one sysout statement and let's print two wheels. Two wheels. Now, this is class vehicle which has one method show. 
this is class 2 wheeler which has also one method wheel number and this extends the vehicle class now in this class demo inside the main method we will create the object of this class so how to create object we already know mention the class name two wheeler give the name let's say object new two wheeler so now we have created the object of this particular class right two wheeler now if i try to access this method here as this is a instance method we need to access it by the object so i will say here object dot so i will access the method here what is the name of method wheel number so i need to say here object dot wheel number right so if i run this code so what will be the output let's run this code so see we are getting a message as two wheels right because this is the print statement inside this wheel number so till now there is no existence of inheritance right we have just created the object of this child class and we have called this method wheel number now let me show you the use of inheritance so what will happen if with the help of object of child class with the help of this object dot if i call the method which is inside the parent class so what is the method inside parent class show so if i try to access here that method so if i try to access that show method here with the help of object of child class obj dot show there is no error right means with the help of object of child class you are able to access a method which is inside the parent class because show method is not available here right inside this two wheeler it is inside the vehicle class but still you are able to access here obj dot show let me run this code so see we are getting inside vehicle class so because this particular statement is being printed here so what is happening when you are using the term extends so inheritance allows this child class to inherit all the properties of parent class so here even if you have declare only one method but as this class is extending vehicle so it is similar to this like if you have this particular met method inside this child class so instead of declaring here you just need to make extends and this will be similar that this show method is also available inside this two wheeler class so that is the third term that we have learned reusability right instead of declaring the method again inside this class we are reusing it and this is our child class and this is parent class so i hope you understand the basic concept about the inheritance here if i change this object of class like if we declare with the help of vehicle name let's make it another one so if i say here vehicle now this is a parent class right vehicle so with the vehicle object let's say v equals to new vehicle so with the help of vehicle object you will be able to access only a show method right because you will be not able to access wheel number because wheel number is inside the child class and this is parent class it is not extending any other class right so only this particular child class will have the access to the members of parent class so if i try to access this show then also we will get the message inside vehicle class so see we are getting here inside vehicle class so that was the practical implementation about inheritance now there are different type of inheritance so first one is a single inheritance single in inheritance means what there are two classes class a and class b and class b inherits the properties from class a so the example we have taken here is of single inheritance here we have two classes class vehicle and class two wheeler and this class two wheeler is extending our vehicle class so this is a single inheritance another type is a multi level inheritance so what is there in multi level inheritance there are multiple classes so class b inherits the properties from class a and class c inherits the properties from class b as class c is inheriting class b so class c will have the content or the access to the properties of b as well as a now let's see the practical implementation of multi level inheritance so we are already have a class vehicle then class two wheeler which is extending this vehicle now we will create another class and which will extend our two wheeler class 
now we will create one more class here let me minimize this now let's create the third class here class now let's mention some company name of two wheeler vehicles let's say honda class honda which extends our two wheeler class and inside this class now we will create one method so let's create one method here public void and let's say company company name company name and here we will print honda now we have three classes here vehicle class then two wheeler class which is extending vehicle so inside this two wheeler we will have this method wheel number as well as show method right and now here we have a honda which extends two wheeler so this particular class so inside this class we have a company name method as it is extending two wheeler so we will have wheel number also but two wheeler is extending vehicle so it will have the show method also now if we try to create the object of this honda class let me cre create your object of honda class let's remove all this content now let's create the object of honda class honda now we have created the object of honda class and with the help of this object now you will be able to access all the methods of this classes so see we are getting here show so show is inside the vehicle class but still you are able to access it because it is inheriting the properties from the parent class now if i try to access another one obj dot wheel number so which is inside the two wheeler class still you are able to access it and the last one obj dot company name which is also inside this honda class so inside this class all the parent classes properties you are able to access so let me run this code so see you are able to get the output as inside vehicle class then two wheels and then honda so this was the implementation of multi level inheritance now the third one is hierarchical inheritance so what is the use of hierarchical inheritance so here you have a one parent class and two child classes means two classes which are extending the properties from the parent class now let's see the implementation of this so we what we will do we will have a class vehicle as our parent class then class b will be our two wheeler class and let's create a class c now class c will not extend class b it will extend class a let me show you here let me remove this class c entirely here and we will declare new class class let's say four wheeler four wheeler extends and now we need to extend the same class which is class b extending so we will extend vehicle class right so this will be our practical implementation of hierarchical inheritance and inside this class let's copy this statement paste it here we will change the method name let's say number and here we will say four wheels okay four wheels now when you will create the object of this two wheeler class you will be able to access wheel number and show method because it is extending vehicle class but this will not able to access the number method because there is no directly reference to this four wheeler class here right and the same goes for the four wheeler this class will be able to access number and show but it will be not able to access the wheel number let me show you here now let's try to create the object of four wheeler class four wheeler object equal to new four wheeler and obj dot so we are getting here show which is inside the parent class vehicle right so you are able to access it obj dot so you are able to access number because it is inside the same four wheeler class 
but if you try to access the wheel number so you will not able to get it right if you try to access here wheel number method you will be not able to access because there is no access to this particular method from this class it is not extending the parent class right so you will be not able to access it if you try to run this code so you are getting inside vehicle class and four wheels so this was the practical implementation of hierarchical inheritance there are two more inheritance types which is multiple inheritance so in multiple inheritance what happens a single class extends two different classes but in java multiple inheritance is not supported we will see in the next video why the multiple inheritance is not supported and the last one is hybrid inheritance so hybrid inheritance is nothing but a combination of all the four inheritance so that was the theory about the inheritance Let's understand what we have learned in this video to summarize the concept inheritance means one class can extend to another class with the help of extend keyword so that the code can be reused so as you have seen if you declare a method in a parent class no need to redeclare it inside the child class by default child class will inherit it the existing class is known as super class or the parent class whereas the derived class is known as sub class or child class so we have seen the implementation here if you have a class which is a parent class super class and if you want to create some sub class then you need to make use of extend keyword and inheritance is only applicable to public and protected members only private members can be inherited why private members cannot be inherited because private members can be accessed in a particular class only if you extend it so it will be not available inside the sub class right because private can be accessed in a same class and also we have learned the five type of inheritance single level multi level multiple hierarchical and hybrid in the next video we will see why multiple inheritance is not supported in java so that's it in this video thank you for watching